Yo, what's up? It's the Hovind 1984 Show. Thank you for tapping in. Hey, check it out. I would not be keeping it real to the 1984 portion of the name of our show if I wasn't to speak on Pam Hemphill's recent interview on KTVB. Okay, this was straight out of the book, 1984. While I was watching this interview, I had the vision, right? In the book, there's multiple times their characters are falsely accused of crimes like thought crimes, terrorism, spreading venereal diseases, all types of crazy shit. And even though the characters in the book aren't guilty of it, after they're imprisoned, psychologically tortured, abused, and broken, they end up confessing to the crimes. Big Brother, he loves that. In the book, once he breaks them and they're ready to admit to the crimes, He likes to march them onto the news and have them admit into the whole world their crimes. And they do. And it's humiliating. And Big Brother loves it. He loves to humiliate you. To take away your humanity. To send a message to anybody else who might be thinking about going against the narrative. He loves it. So when I'm seeing this happen in real life, I'm like, damn, I got to speak on this. A couple instances in Pam's interview really caught my attention. The first one being when she says, Oh, I stopped the steal. I didn't know what that was. I don't know who to believe. Who's telling the truth? I wasn't sure about the stop the steal thing. Uh, you know, what was, do you mean you weren't sure about the stop the steal? Well, there's no evidence. But, you know, everybody's saying they did it. They stole the election. But I got to see the proof. Who told you this? I just... Rumor, just on Facebook and talking to people. Even though there were so many other venues saying, that's not how this works. Yeah, I heard that, but you know, you didn't know who to listen to. Still don't sometimes. I mean, who's telling the truth here? (laughs) Damn, Pam, for reals? You're an elder. You got all types of life experience. At this point in your life, it should not be about trusting what other people say. You got to have a roadmap on how to get to the truth. You gotta have your own line of reasoning called you logic. And if you weren't able to get to the truth using your own terms and conditions, it's like, how old are you? Like I could see a little kid who said, oh, I didn't know any better. Johnny told me it would be okay. Okay, that's a little kid, they're irresponsible. But here's a grown ass woman basically saying she's not even responsible for her own thoughts and beliefs. And actions. Damn, that's humiliating. KTVB jumped on that. Big Brother jumped on that. Said, let's get her on the telescreen, having her admitting that. Another portion of the interview that jumped out at me was when she says that she's come to realize that the right and the Republicans are just moving in the wrong direction. What have you realized since January 6th? That they're going the wrong direction. Who's they? The right. Republicans. So I'd like to know what she means by this. The right is not moving in in the correct direction. Uh, Are they not being communist enough for you, Pam? Are they not being socialist enough? Was Pam good with Roe vs. Wade being overturned? States' rights being respected? Was she good with uh, New York concealed carry prohibition being knocked down? What does she mean when she says they're not moving in the right direction? This incident at the Capitol was... A isolated incident. It's not like you got conservatives and Republicans out in the street, uh, you know, like a BLM riot, burning stuff down. This was an isolated incident. And even at the Capitol that day, there were some people that were on video being let in. So what does she mean? You know, she calls herself MAGA grandma. So what does she mean that they're not moving in the right direction? So this is, this I see Pam, you know, she's not as broken as, as Winston in the book, 1984. She's not, she's not really fully committed to two plus two equals five. I think a lot of the reason why she jumped at this opportunity with the Project Mockingbird asset, Brian Homo, is because, you know, she wanted some attention. And shame on KTVB. They could have interviewed Pam a long time ago. She's, she's, you know, been in the political mix and went viral a few times. They could have had a sit-down interview with her before, but they weren't ready to do that, not until she was ready to admit and repent and confess. Once she's ready to do that, okay, let's go. 
Now, of course, the segment wasn't going to end until Brian had an opportunity to use Pam's name to shit on the people's rights group. At the end, he says... told us she was headed in the wrong direction herself, thanks to following the teachings of Ammon Bundy and his people's rights group. She said she wishes she had surrounded herself with people she trusted, with better knowledge of what was really going on, instead of social media. Now, it doesn't surprise me that Brian said that, because Pam is constantly going in on Ammon now. And, and in this, and the people's rights group. And another... Uh, demonstration where she blames other people for her actions where where she apparently doesn't have mental faculty to able to come to conclusions on herself but to say that Ammon's Bundy's, te- Ammon Bundy's teachings are what led Pam Strace like yo what does Ammon got a book out or something where are his teachings you know what I'm saying? <laughs> does he, does, is he a priest? Is he? I mean, is he reading? I, I, now, I met Pam at like the second People's Rights meeting. I, I'm, I don't even know if she had met Ammon. Probably, if so, just probably one time. But she was already out in the front interviewing people, you know, uh, talking about her book that she had written about the uh, communist provocateurs in North Dakota at the pipeline. She was talking about how the communists had infiltrated the universities, how they were trampling all over the Constitution. This was way before she started to have a relationship with Ammon. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for her to act like she's out here being brainwashed is kind of just some bullshit, really. And it's it's humiliating to see an older person taking that route. It's like, damn, just accept some responsibility. You know what I'm saying? You got caught up. Keep it pushing. I believe Pam has a good heart. I've known Pam for a long time. I've talked to Pam. I've had many personal conversations with Pam. And so I'm, I'm not trying to go super heavy on Pam. You know, it, to me, it was just like, man, this is like straight up out of the, out of the book, 1984. And you know what I'm saying? I'm, really, I'm wondering if that was Pam. Because, she, you know, I didn't see her vaping any of the interview it's like yo i seen pam before she was vaping she was in a vape cloud the whole time now i know she got cancer and i'm not trying to shit on that i'm just trying to say is that really pam you gotta wonder you gotta wonder with these project mockingbird cia news organizations and uh because you know man they're devious you know there's no stopping how low they will go so thanks for tapping in. The, this is crazy times we are living in. We, it's like we're stuck in the year 1984. We got it. We can't get out of it, and uh, and we're seeing it. We're seeing it come to fruition, man. So, you know, if if you see any more of this type of, you know, uh, people being put out on the news and and you know made to admit their crimes and and it's questionable, man. Let me know, cause uh, cause I'm intrigued. All right. Hey, but for real's Hovid 1984 show, you ain't gonna ever see us broken back. You ain't gonna ever see us, you know, admitting to 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 something we didn't do, you know what I'm saying? Or going against the cause of liberty. Hell nah. We got our roots deep in the ground. We are firmly planted and and it's liberty or death. Alright, Hovid 1984 show. I'm out. Peace! <laughs>